Adobe live streamers. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Julia. It's good to see you in the chat. Hey, Tim. I'm Tim, thank you. Uh, my name is Alexis Bustos. I'm here with Colby Kleitz, graphic designer extraordinaire. Um, so oh, yeah, you. we have a great, great segment planned for you guys. Colby's going to talk to us about an app he's created for actually hurricane preparedness. Yeah. So before we get into that, you know, we've uh, we've had some great live streams be right before us, and this week it's gonna it's gonna keep getting great. So let's check out the schedule. All right, Adobe Live. Yeah, you can tune in tomorrow with Zeus for the creative challenge. Hank with drawing and painting. Howard with another with the daily creative challenge again, and then we'll be back. Me and Colby will be back tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, it'll be awesome. I can't wait. And we are here. We're just talking about XD and all the fun things you can do with it. Oh yeah. All right, and uh, in about thirty minutes, you can do the chat for win. So, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. You're gonna get some awesome sticker mule stickers. I think they're the three by three die cuts. So just wait for that in a little bit. And, uh, and then we'll check out your creative uh, daily creative challenges towards the end. And then Thursday we have a portfolio review, so we'll take a look at portfolios, and that's always fun. All nice. right, so I'm here with Colby. It's Colby. Yeah. What's up, dude? Oh, uh, not much. I'm really excited to be here. And thank you to the whole Adobe Live team. This is incredible, and it's so nice to see familiar faces in the chat. Cause I've been a huge fan of Adobe Live for a couple years now, so this is incredible. But a little bit about me. My name is Colby Kleitz. I'm a freelance graphic designer working out of Orlando, Florida. You can find my uh, Instagram and website, I guess, yeah, above me. Nice. Um, so I currently attend the University of Central Florida where I attend the School of Visual Arts and Design. I graduate in May 2020, which is super exciting because I'm almost done forever, so that would be great. Yeah, buddy. The, I've had the opportunity to work under some incredible professors and mentors, which I have listed up there. Victor, Matt, Chad, Ashley, who are all incredible designers, and so I'm super excited to be able to work with them for at least two more semesters, and then I'll be done. Uh, a little bit about me professionally, I've worked at two different nonprofits. One of them is Softworks, the other is Limitless Solutions, and I currently work at the College of Business for the University of Central Florida. I'm an active member in our AIGA com community over in Orlando, so if you have an AIGA chapter in your area, I highly re recommend you look into them because it's a great resource for everyone. And I'm currently the president of our Graphic Design Student Association. Oh. So you can find our Instagram over there, whichever way it is. <laughs> Um, we post a lot of student work and a lot of designs and everything, so it's super cool. So you should check it out. We have a lot of cool events coming up. Oh, but yeah. Mr. President. Oh, yeah. Very, uh, very cool. It's thank awesome you. to have like, a student with us, too. You know, So yeah. much of design, so much of um, getting into design, you're, you're doing it at different levels. Everyone comes in at their mm -hmm. different levels, so it doesn't matter. Student, professor, done it for 15 years, done it for <laughs> yeah. three months. You know, It's amazing to see what people can do. So let's jump yeah. right in. So we're gonna dive into it a little bit. So today we're focusing on case studies in Adobe XD. Well, I guess that's our theme for the overall week. So I want to animate something just for the fun of it. Nice. Um, today did, we're gonna- Did you do that in XD? Yeah, so this is all just in XD, which is, yeah, we can dive into auto animate and stuff a oh, little later, but yes. super fun. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about UX design, wireframes, plugins, components. Tomorrow for part two, we're gonna be doing UI design, looking at like an inspiration board to start to get like a vibe for the app. You know, pick the colors and typography. And Thursday, we're going to be focusing on laying it out in a case study for your portfolio, uh, showing like a brand identity, putting the screens in mockups, and ideally showing a process work. Okay. So that's our ideal timeline to break down, you know, these videos. Um, so the app I want to work on today, as a lot of you might saw, is a hurricane preparedness app. And the real problem I want to address is hurricane supplies. Because being from Orlando, this past week they had Hurricane Dorian, looked like it was aimed right at us. Oh, yeah. And it's just, it's scary for a lot of people, and especially if they're not from Florida. Like being a native, you know, you kind of get used to it, which is kind of sad. But the supplies sells out everywhere. You try to go to gas stations, there's really long lines. Yeah. There, you go to Walmart and the water is sold out completely. It's crazy. Like this is one of my photos from this past week and two of other designers who I know. And it's just two different targets. One's like a Publix, which is one of our grocery oh. stores down there. But you can just see all of them sold out. All we have is like vitamin water or Fiji water. And if you're stranded, like Fiji water is expensive. Right. So you don't want to have to brush your teeth with Fiji water. That'd be crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's the problem I want to address. The solution I think to that would be to design a mobile application that helps the user find which locations most recently had supplies in stock. So the goals that I really want to focus on would be find supplies like water and gas like nearby and allow the content to be updated by a community of users. 
So with that one, I'm kind of inspired by the app Waze, which uses a map to kind of allow users to tag locations and allow them to, it allows the users to update the content. So that's a real, that's kind of what I'm inspired by for this application. And then finally, I want to help reduce the amount of stress around a hurricane warning. Because it is, it is a scary time and there's just, all the stores are sold out. If you're not from around there, it just seems very chaotic and it can be overwhelming. So yeah, those. Wow, well, you know, that's, this is a real, this is a real, this is real. This yeah. is designing for real life, you know. Um, you're, you're really, you're really thick of it. We weren't, <laughs> sure, we weren't sure Colby was gonna get out here. Yeah. We were tracking that storm and trying to just figure out when he would get here. I'm really glad you made it. Oh, thank and luckily you. it's, it's definitely gone by Florida a lot. So. Yeah, it looks like it's the hurricane steering away, but, and who knows, there's always more. And ideally if we develop a cool application here, it could be applied to more than just hurricanes. But mm -hmm. for this, I feel like it's good to just focus on hurricanes specifically. Do you feel like there was, um, since, you, since you're living that life in Florida, do you feel like there were there have been tools and apps that have helped that you've seen that have actually helped the community in during these hmm. times during these really really critical times where you need water you need yeah just water no that's a good question I haven't seen anything myself um I can't think of any apps yeah. that really can I yeah. mean they have like grocery stores where you can like have them delivered to you or like mm. you go curbside pickup but that's still probably unreliable during a hurricane. I imagine they can't like reserve water for yeah. you. So yeah, I really can't think of any applications that kind of address this problem or in a similar way. Wow. Other than like forecasts that kind of try to track stuff, but. Wow, so this is important. Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, keep, keep going. Thank you, that. yeah. So go a little bit further. So whenever I'm working on an app, the first thing I want to do is just sketch because you can kind of work out ideas very quickly and you can kind of yeah, you can break out those ideas. And if you want to just change what you're doing, it's just as simple as drawing a rectangle and drawing the components. So this first one, it's a very rough sketch, so mm. don't judge me off this, because I try to just do it quickly just to get the ideas going. Uh, I like to use markers and stuff to, you know, uh, point out different buttons and interactions where they might go. And then I'll bring those sketches into Adobe Capture where I can actually vectorize it and upload it directly to my library, which is a super useful very tool. Very useful. So I love using Adobe Capture. And it just makes it like a little bit neater. But yes, yeah, so that's one of the first steps I go into. And then I bring all of those sketches into individual artboards and I try to lay them out in a way that makes sense. So these are those pencil sketches that I vectorized. So we'd start out by here by having like a home screen of some sort. You can see there's a really rough looking search menu and a bottom menu. Mm -hmm. um, and you go into, oh, I'm gonna sign in. And then you have to prove your location, it brings you to a map. And then there's different methods of searching and then you have the individual stores, what it might look like with an image, tags, address, comments, and then actual users writing reviews. Mm. So I do this because I like to go over to UI kits to kind of build a base. And if I jump into a UI kit and I don't really know what I'm doing, then it can be very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one of the UI kits that I really focused on for this one, you can find actually up here if you go to get UI kits and more UI kits. Let me go and bring that up. And if you scroll down, you can see they actually have all of these UI kits kind of linked directly in with XD. So it's super useful. So I went down here until I found Navajo, which is one that's made for a transportation ride sharing app. So I felt like this was a great one to kind of use as a base to build our application. And so then I downloaded that and opened it up and you can see it's a beautiful UI kit and there's a lot of content on it. And it was created by Arlene? 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 Yeah, um, but yeah, so there's so, so many different, <laughs> Yeah. right? The, is there a reason you went directly for it? Like a, you were thinking a ride sharing app would be like the closest? Or can you talk yeah. a little bit about like why you want to bring that into your just creation of app? Yeah, definitely. So the reason why I went with the ride sharing app was because they really focus on like maps and a big component of, or a big part of this application we're designing is the map features. So I figured this would have a lot of the different screens that we could adapt to use for for our application. Right. Yeah, and just wayfinding in general. When yeah. You're, when, you, when you're in crisis <laughs> mode, probably, is a big... Is Definitely. Big. Yeah, you want to wow. be able to keep track of And everyone's looking at maps gone. generally when, like, you're looking at a, watching a hurricane, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Awesome. Yeah. All right. And so the next step that I did was I went into this UI kit and I mm -hmm. found screens that kind of match the sketches I did. So to save time, I went ahead and found those ones. <clears throat> So as you can see right here, these are the ones straight from the UI kit. 
And so we can adapt these to kind of serve our needs. So imagine this would be our login screen. You can sign in and then register. You have a pop-up, you can confirm location, and then you bring it to a map. And then you have different methods of searching. So down here, maybe we have a spot to edit your profile. We have searching based on the topics, like water, gasoline, maybe like sandbags or planks mm -hmm. even, other types of useful stuff that gets sold out. And then also up here, if you actually click search, it'd bring up different categories as well. Or maybe even just by clicking on the icons on the map. So I wanna have several different methods of searching all funnel into like the profiles of the stores. So the sushi place, imagine that was like a gas station or a Walmart or something. And then we break that down and then we go to submit rating, which is what they use for Uber, but we can, I think we can adapt that into submit like a review of Walmart or something to say whether they had water mm. or if there's gas in the location and say maybe how recently it was. Cause if it was updated by the users, we want it to, um, if it was updated by the users, we want to make sure it's like accurate too, right. but it's also like recent. Because right. if it was several hours ago, who knows? Because there's trucks that come in and restock these Right, stores and you don't want someone often. driving like across town. Yeah. In, in, in the middle of a hurricane to just see that they're out of water. No, definitely. Yeah. And not even too during, a, during like the middle of a hurricane. Like even those photos I took were close to like five, seven days mm. before the hurricane. And so water sells out that early, which is insane. I see. And so, so. But they get restocked so frequently too, so you never know if the place is gonna have water when you go visit it. Got it. So that's so a that, that like part. real time updating is, is a really key feature that, yeah. I, that you're gonna hone in on. Awesome. Well, Definitely. So this is hmm. a great UI kit to start with. It is. It's So this one is very flushed out and it's got a lot of detail in it. So it's good and bad in ways. It's good because it gives us a lot of inspiration to kind of work off of. It's bad because it also might influence the design a little bit. So we gotta be conscious of that mm. decision as well. But I think I'll go ahead and start customizing uh, these UI kits to serve our needs then. Sound good. So I might dive into it a little bit. So I, you know, it seems smart to dive into the splash screen. Seems easy enough. And you can see the images right there. So let's go ahead and hide that. A lot of the colors and typography will dress on part two. So it may still look like the UI kit a lot today, but I think the biggest thing is just making sure the functionality of it is what we need it to be. So, and if y'all have any ideas for a name for a Hurricane app as well, we can kind of explore options there. So you can kind of dive mm. into some of this designing. That's a funny, that's a that's an interesting design challenge, the Hurricane Prep app name. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. really roll off your roll off the tongue, Hurricane <laughs> Prep. Yeah. Cool. I, could, I could see it as like a single name, we could figure something out. And yeah. so I was exploring some ideas too, so I don't know if I should throw mine or kind of wait to see what other people come out with. I want to see too. if people can like, yeah, let's right? wait. Okay. Let's, let's see what people can come up with. I think yeah, that'd be, be cool. interesting. Right and so I'm going to go over here to the sign in and sign up pages. So I just want to, these are two identical pages. So I just want to customize them a little bit to serve our needs. One of the things I like to do too is go ahead and remove these keyboards because I want to add those as a separate artboard that can be overlaid later on. Because I don't think they need to necessarily be directly onto these. Let's write something like, oh, find, find hurricane supplies in your area. It's always hard to just type on the spot. Yeah. Too. It's so no. much pressure. Ooh, we have one one option. I like it. Hurry. Hurry. H oh, okay. R-R-I. Ooh. Hurry, that works. That's interesting. I love that. Yeah. I'm going to write that one down, too. You can make a list right here. So if you come up with any cool ones, let yeah. us know, and we'll add them to a list. So yeah, we got submit rating, but let's go ahead and change that to say uh, sign in. And we will do the same down here as we change it to sign up. And that works right now. We don't need to do anything too crazy. And this screen, actually let me go ahead and make sure the title of these artboards are right. So splash, sign up, sign in, pop up, let's say location. And caps lock. And then here we go. Boom. We can start to customize this a little bit. What should we say? Um, can we use your location or how do we word that? Confirm location. Um, can we use your location? Hmm, some creative copy. What can we? Yeah. What can we work with? So I'm not a very good copywriter. Which is 
It's always uh, fun. So this is this is kind of um, this is us confirming location, huh? Yeah. So can we use your? It's are, kind you of, it's long. You, are you safe? Safe and safe are and secure. Are you safe and secure? See, your I want this to be more of like, oh, do we have permission to you track your location? Oh, I see. Oh yeah, can we use so your location? That's we, great. Okay, and it kind of fits perfectly right there for the most part. Maybe a little close on that edge, but I think it works. Very nice. Oh yeah, and uh, can we have permission? To track. That's the thing about a uh, about copy. It's it's a it's an art form in itself, isn't it? It really is. All right. Well, let's see. Hurry, hurry, go. Hurry, go is up on there. Hurry, go. Okay. We can add that on the list as well. Hurry, go. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, if you have any ideas for the app name, please hit, uh, don't hesitate to throw it out. Yeah. Hurricane Supply app. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, Tim brings up Tim brings up a really great point. Um, you know, right now, do you see yourself designing on a uh, iOS mobile for an iOS mobile app, mm -hmm. or do you see it more of a uh, like Android? No, I was thinking more of an iOS app. Okay, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, something we see a lot with these um, with these um, different styles is uh, kind of creating or going over a lot of the. Uh, the messaging or the native native OS messaging styles. So, mm. can we use your location as one one good example of that? It's interesting to see what what different designers will kind of create. But um, I think we'd probably use like a native a native pop up. Don't you think? That's true. Okay. Yeah. That's a good point. It's, it's interesting. I mean, like I feel like it's a it's a big it's a big thing. People want to. It's almost like a is there an option to redesign? <laughs> but you know, people are. We have a. Uh, we have the kits, and they're great, and they look awesome. Definitely. But people are used to a certain way. Um, but you know, who's to say? Who's to say? We're all design. You know, you're a designer. <laughs> We're here to design. We're here to improve and design for the future. So maybe someday <laughs> it'll look a little different. But for right now, it'll probably be native. And sorry, I'm just getting a little bit in the zone here, trying to. Just take out all the different stuff that we don't need to where we can just have the skeleton of what our app might look like. Yeah, oh, this is great. So you started with your sketches. Yes. You found the closest kind of UI kit that you think that would, that kind of mimics that. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of, it's almost like you're a, you're taking that next level of sketching. You're a, you're a hands-on, <laughs> it's like your second, second round of sketching almost, Definitely, right? it's just Easy. a good way to kind of lay out like a good rough draft of mm -hmm. what it might look like. That's another great reason for these for these kits. Just to have something to just help you just place that button quickly so you can get your ideas just out. Definitely. Cause that's huge, just to be able to get ideas out. Cause if it's not a good idea, then you can move past it quickly Correct. and work on Right. You don't have to sit the there and keep successful. like rounding those corners in the way. <laughs> we're just trying to we're trying to see it. Yeah. See if it'll work. Get it in people's hands, right? Definitely. So was there a, a big moment of inspiration for you in this app? Kind of like, you know what, I think hmm. I think we need this. I think m my community needs this. Or was it something that, yeah, I'd so, love to hear where you. Yeah. I mean, it's just from being, living, growing up in, like, in Florida, you have hurricanes, it seems like, every year. And it's just the same problem every year where people can't get supplies. And all the, you go to stores for a certain thing and it's out, and then you have to check three or four stores, and then you might get lucky and find Fiji water or something. Yeah. And so I think it's just a big thing when I design is I want to try to address a need. Yeah. Because I think actually designing for a purpose is like the most important thing. Definitely. So let me look at this. So I have the splash screen. This is when you first log into the app for the first time. You go log in with email or Facebook and then confirm location. Or and then you sign in, register, and it would take you to the map. And then, so I need to build a search and a menu. And then the search would go there. We also have this type of search and a profile. And then the, almost like a profile of the, of the place. place. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'm not sure if that sounds right. Yeah. And then let's just change submit rating to review. So it just makes a little more sense. And then, hmm. Oh sweet! I still have that copied. Good. Love when I that I lost happens. that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'll just create a separate artboard for the keyboard right there, Very just so I have it in a spot and I don't forget it. 
boom. And then, yeah, those will funnel to that. And so then we can start working on different uh, components that we can kind of build. So one of the things I would like to do would be like a search up at the top. So let me make sure I'm, I'm like a decent size. Probably better to compare it down here. Nice. And then what I like to do is just round out the corners a little bit. I think it makes it like a little more friendly, mm -hmm. a little inviting. And maybe build a nice circle that I can place over here. I need to fix the scale of that. While Col Colby's doing that, I'm um, just gonna remind y'all the chat and win countdown is going. We have about eight minutes, 8, 25, 24, until we can, uh, so we don't ch start chatting for those stickers, so. Oh yeah. Just... Sticker Mule stickers too. Oh, the Sticker Mule is incredible. The best. Yeah, the they best. are. A lot of these stickers are from Sticker Mule too. So many, <laughs> so many laptop stickers have got to be Sticker Mule. You know oh, I mean? I'm like, sure. Because it's just good quality and it's good price too. So. Right. I don't know, I don't, oh yeah. Give them true. like a shout out. <laughs> Sticker Mule is great. Hey man. So one yeah, of the other things uh, I'd like to dive into would mm -hmm. be plugins. So when I'm designing something like this, rather than trying to build icons from scratch, I like to go over to Icons and Symbols, which is a plugin that's directly in XD, and you can search anything for the most part. So, uh, we'll just try search. Oop. Boom. And there's all these different uh, little magnifying glasses and little icons that can kind of represent search, so that's super cool. So let's go ahead and take one of these in here, and just drop it right here. Uh oh Boom. I'll kind of bring this in there. And let's also look for like a mic, maybe. Because it would be really cool to add audio. Mm. I don't know. Let me bring this back over here. And zoom in a little bit. There we go. Yeah. And then, yeah, I can just paste the microphone right on top of here. So it'd be really cool to add voice features into this app. Because I know XD, they do have, um, you can kind of use audio. Yep. And with an app like this, where you're trying to, it can be stressful and you're trying to find hurricane supplies, it might be good to, you know, have all the features that we can. Right. Just anything to alleviate the stress around being in a crisis situation, <laughs> like prepping for a hurricane. It's Definitely. just, I guess for me, it's just so, it sounds so stressful. It's just, <laughs> grew up in California, so I'm like, oh my gosh, how do you even? <laughs> yeah. But, um, but. We were talking earlier, you know, earthquakes are pretty scary for Yeah, I was about to reference that too, because, yeah, earthquakes seem overwhelming and, like, insane to me. But I'm sure here in California, you know, you learn to adapt and just live exactly. with it. Exactly. It's just, it's just another thing, right? Definitely. But, so it's crazy to think that hurricanes can be so just normal. Yeah. But I would still assume they're pretty stressful. So having yeah. any type of feature that would alleviate that, I think, is definitely makes sense. Is the right call. And so one of the things I want to do right here is I'm going to make this a component. And so when I go to my assets panel, it gets dropped in right here. And hopefully this works, right? So that way, whenever I edit this one, mm -hmm. it edits that one as well. Mm -hmm. So they're all like childs of the parent component. Yes. Sweet. So let me go ahead and copy that one. So I like to have a separate canvas over here where I can kind of hide those components. And then the first one I might actually have that search bar on would be this screen, the map. And I'll kind of line it up roughly up there, because I can go back and fix it or add some spice to it later to make it a little cooler. Um, and then the search would also be right here. So I'll make sure I take that one because it's in that spot. Mm -hmm. And then I can go and adjust the rest of these to kind of work with it. Boom. And go ahead and replace these categories with, let's do gas water, and then I was trying to think of what a third one would be, and like sandbags and planks of wood like, to board up your house and stuff. So I was thinking maybe like tools or something where you could show like where like Home Depot and Lowe's or those hardware stores Yeah, are like hardware. Okay. Because hmm. tools... Tools, tools like, sounds right. Okay, and yeah. it like it fits, it's like a short word too, so it kind of looks nice-ish. So if we get um, a better description later on, we can kind of swap that out. Right. And water kind of implies food. 
Yeah, and but <clears throat> and food is very tricky too because there is, it's much harder to find like bottled water. I because see. there's certain food that like produce they're just trying to get rid of at that point. But then there's like canned foods, and there's usually these grocery stores have such a variety that you may get stuck with something you don't like, mm. but you can usually find it. And then I imagine trying to search for certain types of food would make um, searching way more complicated. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. These are like the yeah. essentials you would need. Definitely. So we gas, water, and tools. Yeah. Or supplies. I yeah, mean, supplies. This, this all lives as supplies, right? But. Yeah, maybe supplies might be better than tools because tools I think of like a hammer or like nails and mm -hmm, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I guess it is useful, but it's not necessarily what I was going for. Uh, right. Justin says medicine. Medicine? As medicine. I thought about medicine that? too, but it's similar with food where searching specific medicine would be super tough. And then, yeah, because there's so many different kinds of medicine. Right, right. Yeah, I just think that would be very difficult. And then with mm -hmm. users updating the content, there's not as many people looking for specific medicines as they would with just general gasoline. So this, your your app implies like we, the user has maybe their own store, stash of medicine. They have like hopefully they, they have their own. <laughs> they've yeah. taken care of that. This is a last minute. I just need that gas, that water, yeah, that like last some board, sand to, bags some sandbags, some sandbags, those last things. Okay. Yeah. Seeing... Which medicine would be an incredible thing? Because I know that's something that I'm sure a lot of people were really struggle with trying to find like last minute. And yeah. trying to stock up with it. I'm sure it's expensive and scary. Hey man, and this this is why we this is why we prototype, you know, this is why you we kinda get it out there is you know Definitely. what are gonna be the what are gonna be the main things people need to find. Um, but as that as a Floridian, <laughs> these are the ones that this is your use case for it. So this is great. Definitely. This is good. I can we can we can see it forming um, as it goes on, kind of like when when this would be the best um, time to use it, and, and mm -hmm. what to even just name these things, right? It's helping us think while we're while we're working on it. I'm gonna change that to Orlando. This is a hurricane app, you know, makes sense. So I'm gonna add that. Let me get rid of some of this. And then maybe we can just change it to like Walmart or something, just general. Right. Shelter. Shelter's a good one. Shelter is a good Shelter one. Shelter I've seen on um, Google has like a, Google has like on their maps shelters during during crisis situations. Oh, that's but a good one. But shelters would be a really good thing to also implement. This is, this yeah. is like. These are all good these ideas. These are really good ideas. Or maybe like evacuation routes or hospitals, stuff mm -hmm, like that too. Mm -hmm. I do see Rachel Elnar in the, Elnar, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong in the chat. So I just want to give her a shout out. She's a part of the Adobe Creative Jam live team. So I've done like Creative Jams with her. Awesome. So it's cool to see her. And also my sister, Shelby. So it's fun. I love it. <laughs> I, I love your fan, fan club going on. <laughs> it's so great. No, uh, yeah. Description. Let's instead of too much, let's just say grocery store. I don't think we really need a super description on Walmart. I feel like for the most part, people understand what a grocery store Definitely. is. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing how these types of apps can like really, really make you think about what what we can make with on mobile devices, what type of like, what other ways we can help people. Definitely. So this is a great, this is just a great concept in general to just to start practicing and making, making more apps to help instead of. Right, instead of more instead social of, media. Instead of to do or... laundry for you, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like we got, we can do laundry, but what's gonna happen when we really need help? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we are just getting down to the uh, chat and win section of our broadcast here. Nice. So uh, everyone get chatting so that you can get winning. Yeah, should we ask them any certain question or something? Yes. Like, what ooh, is... Um, this is a tough one, because I'm trying to think of something like hurricane-related. Okay, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? food? <laughs> yeah, food, that works. Let's go with that, let's <laughs> go with that. All right, so we'll be right back. Yeah. Awesome. You chatted. Yeah, so let's keep the chat going. Let's, anyone have a favorite Donuts, food you want to give a shout out to? You? Stuff yeah. that would be really cool to include in the app, but you know, or maybe if, like hurricane bunker food, you know? Oh, there it is. Right, yeah. That's it. That's like, I saw enchiladas, and I imagine during a hurricane, enchiladas would be pretty good. Maybe hard oh to prepare, gosh. but. 
You know, it wouldn't hurt. Right. <laughs> One of the things you need in hurricane is a freezer. Freezer, yeah. <laughs> How do you keep things cold? Yeah, really. Uh, let's see, hurricane food. What else? Pizza. There's a lot of, have you ever had the, the freeze dried kind of things? Oh, the freeze dried. We got a winner. Oh, congratulations. Cather, cateret, cateret, of course. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It's a harder name to pronounce, but we. It is. But you guys. But congrats, you congratulations! Congrats! That's super exciting. <laughs> Hundred yeah. free, uh, free stickers, die cut three by threes. Perfect. Nice. Those are perfect size for anything, for any type of. You could just one of these, probably one right. of these is like a three by three. Yeah, awesome. one of these gotta be. Actually, I think the one right in the middle is close to it. But yeah, and I know there's also another prize for everyone else too. It's like a giveaway. So it's stickermulecom Lab 19 mm -hmm. So it's ten stickers for a dollar. And I think that's actually where this sticker came from, from watching these Adobe live streams and ordering it myself. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's a definitely a good deal. Yeah, <laughs> nice. It's chicken meal. Yeah, 10 stickers for a dollar though. And I think they usually end up giving you like, like close to 15, 12 to 15. So it's kind of nice. Champs. Right? So many water Super bottles, great. so many, so many yeah, laptop could be on everything. Cases. So we're gonna dive back in here. And so a problem I ran into was I pasted this, but it's in, uh, I have a group in here, so it's kind of getting hidden behind there. So I need to find this whole element and bring it up above the pop-up. There we go. Boom. Cool. Oh yeah. So let me zoom out a little bit. So it's always good to just zoom back out and kind of look at what you're doing again. Absolutely. Because sometimes you can get zoomed in too close and you can kind of focus on one screen. And it's kind of get tunnel vision, but mm -hmm. if you kind of zoom out and look at everything as a whole, you may notice something that you didn't catch right off the bat. So let me just think about how this will run through the sign in the location. So you're saying the location would probably be like an, on their native phone then too. It would probably be a native. So that's yep. true. So I can pro I probably just get rid of that altogether because that may be similar to the review in some ways. Mm -hmm. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that one and cut down our screens a little bit and bring it a little closer just for fun. So in the maps, boom. Okay, it looks good. And then the next thing I'd want to build would be the menu down here at the bottom. Hmm. So I'll, actually I'll do it over here just so I make sure it's on the right size. I'll bring that in and I'll go ahead and kind of build it over here in the components panel. And let me just customize it a little bit. Hmm. So the icons I'm gonna need, I can go back over to the plugins, and this one's icons yeah. and symbols, so it's super useful. And just boom, and boom, look at that. You have all these different like little houses and stuff, so it's so just super easy. easy. And That's I've ran so into, great. it is awesome. I've done like some different creative jams and stuff where people try to build the icons from scratch, and mm -hmm. like you're trying to do it within like two or three hours, and. It's just, you end up running into so many problems. Yeah. And so if you have it already built, there's no reason to like reinvent the wheel. Just use the resources that are available to you, especially if you're on a time crunch. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So I'm gonna pick a good okay. house right there. And so I noticed this too. Whenever I use this plugin, it usually drops that. the icons in the top left artboard. So if anyone knows why or how I can get it to drop directly into the artboard I want. Oh, the, is it that you're selected on at least? Is that like the closest? Or the well, that's, well, if we go up here, so I'm working oh, down why? here and that's the creative brief up here at the top. So I, I haven't really been able to solve that huh. problem yet. But to be honest, I haven't looked in it, into it too much yet All right. <laughs> either. All right, uh, icons and symbols plugins. What's up? How can you help us? Yeah. Yeah, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel when you're trying to just kind of get an idea out. Definitely. It's essentially what this is, right? Just uh, another form of sketching. Sketching yep. an idea. Yeah, just making something real rough just to make sure it works before you invest too much time. Mm. Yeah. Do you have any other favorite plugins? Yeah, so. Yeah, XD has done a great job with plugins and they're super useful. Um, there's some other ones I found out mostly by watching these live streams, so it's been super useful. One of them is, there's a Behance one directly. So mm -hmm. this one you can publish like process work directly to, what do they call on Behance? Is it, I'm trying to remember um, what it is. It's not like process work, it's not like, it's, they're almost like Instagram stories in a way, but 
oh, that's a tough one. But you all probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. They're, they're like, it's basically like stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And so it's super cool. You can just click that plugin and it'll export like that artboard, whatever you have selected directly to that. Another one, so keyboard fun. shortcuts. So this one's Ooh. just kind of nice because you know, if you're ever lost and want to figure out something, they have everything right here. Oh, so you can awesome. basically learn anything. And I may, yeah, I have a problem too because I don't use enough shortcuts. Like sometimes I get used to just, you know, just, click, just click, doing click it. In. Yeah. And especially with a mouse, I can just click back and forth oh, so man. quickly. Well, with the shortcuts uh, plugin, you're going to get pro in no time. Right? I'm going to learn all the tricks. Just studying those shortcuts. <laughs> That's the plan. And then another icon I would want maybe be like a map. And then see, I can't drag it over here. So my mm, only option is to and click it, it and then it drops appears. up there. Wow. So that's... Huh. We've discovered something here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So these are going to be your bottom... These are your bottom nav here kind of... Yeah, exactly. Together. So I just want to kind of build something real rough so that way I can almost just prototype it and make sure it makes sense. A uh, work in progress is what it's called. Work in progress, yeah. Okay, so I was close with process work. You know, yeah, it's kind of the same progress, ballpark. Process work. <laughs> Still working on it. Oh yeah. Not done yet. Working away. <laughs> uh, profiles. So what profiles. should I search? I was trying to think of like edit your profile. So I wanted like a little icon of a person, maybe avatar. No. Um, human. Human. Person. People. Yeah. People. Person. Person, oh, people, okay. usually yeah, is what person, comes up there. People. <laughs> so yeah, let's go with this one. And see, so, yeah, oh, go up to that one. Here we go. Here's a tip. Um, do you have, if you have something selected, the icon should appear. If I have something selected, oh, oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Tim. I think it was Tim who just said that too. Nice, super useful. So let me try it. I have the, just a the circle selected and then. Oh, wow. Look at that. This saves me from having to go back and forth. All right. Well, Tim, I think, you're great. I think we've, I think we've just... <laughs> right? We can solve these problems together. Oh, my gosh. Uh, nice. Thanks, Tim. As, even more than just this, that's going to be useful just like everyday life when I'm designing in XD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's saving me from having to zoom in and out constantly. Well, that's the beauty so of this community, cool. right? Right. And they, you were actually, you were actually coming out of this Adobe Behance community. You've done a lot. Mm -hmm. of, you've seen a lot of live streams. You've, yeah. partake, you've partook in a lot of... <laughs> yeah, no, I've watched a lot of these for close to two years now. I have some favorite ones too. So if you go back and watch them, there's one that's Hebo by Design where she does like oh, a yeah, Pokemon app. Oh, yeah, that was great. And it's with great. Paul. Yeah, it's super great. And what I love too, she like interviews her son. And so she does like, she really dives into it. And so she really thinks about it, which is super cool. Oh, my gosh. Just teaching each other here, people. It's yeah. beautiful. It's oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right. Let's see. So you're thinking, what are you thinking about this profile like this person would have? Um, yeah. So I was going to dive into some of that more tomorrow too. Okay. So, well, no, I was going to talk about it now. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to give the app like an overall vibe. And so I like to kind of give them like a theme by that I mean. And so I don't want to give away the theme yet, but it would include like a badge of some sort, and like the colors and a rank Got based it. on how active they are and how many reviews they do. Got it. So that type of stuff would be on the profile, which you can see down here. We can customize it. And it may say like how many reviews they have, maybe how long they've been a member for, and um, hmm, maybe what where oh it says where they're from. So I don't know. We can think about what other okay. Okay. thing I might say there as well. But then we can show a badge, and it'll have a menu down here. So I think the profiles will be really simple because I don't think we need to go into too much detail about it because it's not really like about messaging or no yeah yeah. It's almost like it could be an uh, emergency contact sort of, it's true. sort of uh, profile. Apps like these are interesting because you want them, to, you know, you want them to exist and be there, but also, hopefully, you won't be needing it much, right? Yeah. So how much time and information the user gives is going to really be. There's an opportunity for a community to come out of it for sure, but you know, maybe luckily, maybe they won't. Yeah, but need to don't. use it because it implies there's a hurricane or <laughs> some sort of something. Oh, that's looking nice. All right, and so you can see, see it's real just simple right now. But that's things I don't. I want to kind of get rid of a lot of the UI kit where it's way too colorful and it's almost distracting because it's 
if I end up building it too much like this UI kit, then this app is gonna end up looking like everyone else's. Right. And like everyone else who end up using this kit. So, yeah. So I wanna just spice it up a little bit. And hey, Paul, Aww. thanks for dropping in. It's good to hear from you. It's kind of rolls are reverse, so that's pretty cool. Oh, man. <laughs> so yeah, I got this copied right here. And then let me drop it on these other ones. And then let me make sure it's on the right layer as well. Let me find this. There we go. Which layer is this in? So that's in that layer. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, where else could, um, I'm wondering about like just prepping in general for these hurricanes. So this is like, yeah. you're saying people are prepping like weeks out. They do. As soon as like there's any idea that a storm might be coming, then yeah, the stories start to sell out. People start freaking out. The news is constantly showing the hurricane. And even all last week, the projection looked like it was aimed right at Orlando. Yeah. So the whole time, everyone's you know, trying to get everything. But then, as of like today, I think it's steering back out. So luckily, you know, luckily. everyone back home yeah. is safe, which is great. But it's super scary, and, it's, and it happens. It seems like every year. Yeah. And sometimes even multiple times a year. Is there anyone just kind of like, at this point, like, all right, we know we have our we we have everything we need. We we just have it year round now. You know. Is yeah. Well, that's the thing is preppers. For They're, hurricanes. Oh, definitely. And, yeah. they, and they advise us year round, like, oh, hurricane's coming, be prepared. Mm -hmm. You know, have your supplies ahead of time. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't, or they can't afford to, or they just don't think about it, or people from out of town. There's so many tourists, too, that right. are there at the beaches and stuff, right. and those are probably right, the right. scariest places to be. So imagine they have no clue what stores are around, wow. or all the different stores if they had to check multiple ones. Wow. Yeah, so that can be very overwhelming. So far, I got some of this navigation on here. So another resource I like to use a lot is Adobe Stock. Yes. So they are incredible, and you can search almost like anything. And I try to do Hurricane, which that's all caps. But if you do this, you're going to end up getting all these super intimidating, scary photos. Mm -hmm. And even Hurricane Supplies, it just reminds me of like, I don't know, like preppers or like, zombie apocalypse or something where they're trying to like be prepared and all that craziness. And so a lot of these photos wouldn't really work and they're almost too intimidating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because we want the app to be inviting, like, because it's already scary times. So if you start using scary photos then it's just gonna... Totally, yeah. <laughs> totally, totally. So which kind of photos do you think you would... Yeah, so the ones I've downloaded and saved already were mostly ones I can use for like locations and stores. Mm. So. I got that image selected, I think. Nope. Let me find it. Oh, that's why, because I have an overlay, I think. Yeah, there's the image. Classic. And so, go into Adobe Stock Photos. These are the ones I've downloaded ahead of time. And gas, and let's just drop in, actually, no, this is a Walmart. Let's go to, let's drop in one of these real quick. Nope, dropped it on that overlay. And let's go, on. There we go. There you go. Nice. Ooh. And just kind of swap that out just to start to get a general idea. Yeah. You know, rather than saying sushi, it actually says Walmart. <laughs> That's probably good. Just helps for those who don't know what Walmart is. Yeah. Have a photo, for sure. That's true, because there are people from all over the world, yeah. too. And that's well, why I didn't want to use anything too specific. You brought up tourists. I didn't even, like, think about all the tourists yeah. that come in through these zones that are super dangerous during hurricane season. Definitely. It gets, yeah, Things it gets overwhelming. And they're all over at the beaches and the places that are most likely to be flooded. And so, yeah, it's, wow. yeah, it's very scary. Can imagine, like, what if there was an easy way to get this app in tourist hands? Into what? Into an, an easy way to get this app into like tourists. Hands, oh, into like, tourists. Hands. Into, Definitely. You know, maybe it's not something that just locals use. Yeah. And that'd be great. Because imagine if this was like something useful and like the more people that used it, the more accurate the app would be, too. So it'd be, it'd be very useful for tourists. That's and right. then so I want to look for more icons. And so since we're talking about a store, um, so earlier I tried to look up water in icons, and none of these really seem appropriate. You have a guy skiing, you have droplets, uh, what is it, like the mm -hmm, ocean the waves? Yeah, the waves. 
So I said maybe store would make more sense. And hmm. Yeah, so yeah, we have some down here. Store. Okay, those will work. Yeah, because I was looking at these and oh, it's like jewelry and doesn't really make sense. But I'm gonna take Tim's advice and go ahead and make something down here that I can drop the icon into. Because that was a great tip. Yeah, thank you, Tim. There you go. Huh. Yep. Still, so you're on your uh, you're on your last legs at school too, huh? Yeah, I'm very excited to finally be done or almost done. <laughs> awesome. That's so great. And yeah, UCF is such an incredible school too. Their design program, apparently, like this year, got like second best in Florida, so it's super cool. I'm gonna brag on them a little bit. Yeah, brag. The professors are incredible. Some of them are involved with like Adobe Education. Um, the one of my main professors, he's the president of our AIGA Orlando chapter. So it's very cool to have professors that are very involved in the design community and that really help, you know, push the students to get involved too. Yeah. What got you into this? Um domain, this field, where is a... Uh, like graphic design in general, or more of like the Adobe XD, UI, UX, sad it's things? All, it's all kind of, it's all your, <laughs> your, your it's, it's intro all, story, so... That's true. So I attended Hillsborough Community College, which is over in Tampa, and I took their graphic design program and got, or earned my associates in graphic arts and photography. Very cool. And so, which I do miss that for the most part, because a lot of photography I did was film photography. And that was so much fun to be able to be in a dark room and develop it and Very work cool. in black and white and with like you know, faded colors and you know, all that fun stuff. And so right here Getting I'm- exposed those chemicals. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun stuff. But then also to learn about the history of photography is super interesting mm -hmm. too. And even the different processes that go behind it. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing art form. It's the thing about design, right? You get so much overlap from so many different fields. Yeah. I mean, I can't, Count. I think all of my colleagues or friends or people I met in school all came through from a different, a different field of a different creative field. Mm -hmm. Photography may be the start. Graphic design's then the, the path, and then somehow you get into UX. <laughs> um, but everyone's origin origin story is really cool and just definitely yeah. So what I'm doing right here is I'm making Ooh. variations of these because these would be the icons that kind of start to show up on the map. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the colors of these and so that I can help signify quickly on the map which places have like higher ratings mm -hmm. based on the reviews and which ones have lower ones. And that would be based on the comments, the most recent comments. So I'm creating variations of these so I can add them to my assets panel. Yeah. But first I'm gonna go ahead and just change the colors. And these colors won't be the ones I keep. They're just gonna be quick ones. <clears throat> You were uh, copy and pasting those. Did I? Did you use? Uh, you didn't. You didn't use a repeat grid for those. You don't. No, to? that's a. Oh, I should have. That would have been a great opportunity <laughs> okay. to do it too. I didn't know if that yeah. was something you were, you were going off something. No, else, you're so or? right. Yeah, because repeat grid is great, and it probably would have looked more aligned too. <laughs> which I can show that real quick, because yeah. I'm sure everyone already knows repeat grid. So you so can that's do it this way, one. which is totally fine. Yeah, just copy and pasting it. Doing that. Or you select it, years. and then up here you have this icon repeat grid, so it's super useful. Where you can just. Boom. Uh, yeah, it's magic. nice. Or you can make like a ton of them, but we don't need to do that. And then you can just go right here to ungroup grid. And so, yeah, repeat grid is great, especially if you're just trying to make something very fast or you're working on like, which we, we'll be doing that when we start to go into like Walmart's profile in a way where mm -hmm. like users leave comments. So rather than doing all of them individually and, you know, running the problem, maybe somewhere misaligned, you can just use repeat grid and yeah, it solves a lot of the problems. I'm gonna make like a yellow. It's very cool, very cool. Oh yeah. Kind of like the different levels of like, what do they, they you know, well stocked, yeah. medium stock, totally sold out. Yeah, then definitely. Just and then more of just a general one to have just in case. Got it. So that's a great feature, I, I love it. I love it. More, it's more important not just knowing, is knowing where they're at. <laughs> yeah. Simple things like that. Yeah. Oh man. Designing is. Uh, oh yeah. You can get a little tedious at times, but. 
totally worth it. Totally. Because if you set everything up right and build your components, then when you need to go back later on and edit them and change these, it's super easy because everything's linked. So that's, yeah, that's one of the things I love about XD. And I was going to make all these into components. I'm not sure though if I can highlight all of them and make a component or if that would make all of them one giant component. Or if, because hmm. I usually go in individually just like play it safe. That's the question. Yeah. Community? So yeah, <laughs> community, Tim, you seem to be our expert, you know, you're always here. <laughs> or Howard, he wrote the book on it basically. <laughs> so I have all those in components and then you look over in the assets panel and these are all right here, Boom. which is great. And so, I just want to test one of these. So I have the red one right there. And then let's see if I change this. See, it changes the color of the other one down there. Yep. Very nice. So super Very nice. useful. <clears throat> nice. And then we can go in and start adding some of these icons to the map just for fun. Just to kind of get an idea of how this might work. Hmm. That takes Tim's advice. Actually, no, this one I can just drag in here now. Tim just said, I am the community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then right now I'm just gonna toss these out here. Um, have you have you encountered like going to somewhere, going somewhere trying to get water and having them all be sold out? Yeah, is no, definitely. Just, is that just like a norm? Cause this is just- Yeah, it's oh, crazy. It's well this, me. I'm gonna jump into this screen right here. This photo on this side is the one I took because I went to Target to try to get like a nice shirt to be on here. <laughs> from Target. <laughs> and um, yeah, they're all sold out of water because I swung by there and it's just, yeah, it's overwhelming. And then, yeah, these are two other people that I know in Orlando. When I saw them on Instagram, I reached out, I was like, hey, can I use your photo real quick? You know, because I wanted to help explain the problem. Because yeah, no, I've definitely ran into that. And every year, whenever you're around for hurricanes, it just happens to everyone. Wow. And nobody wants to get the Fijis. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Or they can't afford to. Especially if that's what you're using to like cook or anything else. Wow. You would think for something as basic as water, they would just... Yeah, you just... I don't know. Have it. It's Fiji or no water. <laughs> I think I'd get Fiji. Yeah. I mean, it's right. <laughs> yeah, really, at <laughs> that point. <laughs> or they have Gatorade, but, you know, it's... All right. Yeah, but drinking that for a couple days, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, probably wouldn't be very good. <laughs> Your, like, skin turns different color. Yeah, really. I mean, Gatorade's a ton of delicious, but I don't though. think I could drink it for four days. Yeah, or cook with. Or cook with, <laughs> yep. Ugh. Yeah, so I just kind of tossed all these out okay. here. Okay. And so just so we can kind of start to get a general idea. Each of these would be an individual button. That would also work as a button to here. And all these would jump to individual profiles of the places. But I'm gonna wait to make all the individual profiles until I have this one built exactly how I want it, because then I can just duplicate it and Got it. customize it from there. Very cool. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna it's go funny. It's funny. This template has like sushi on it, and we're just like, <laughs> it's just yeah. such a different, just so different from what we actually need right now. Yeah, really. It's like water. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, let me see if I can do it just for this top grid. Oh, I think I maybe need to ungroup grid. Maybe I did this wrong. If anybody's new to the chat yeah. right now, you know, hey, we are sitting here with Colby and we are going through an app that he's created or app design that he's created and it's all about um, hurricane preparedness and where to go and where to find water and general supplies and yeah. things like sandbags. And we're getting some really great, interesting comments about, you know, what about shelters? What about all these, you know, what about- yeah, Medicine. Medicine. Was a good one. Medicine was a great one. Um, and you know, and these are all just great ideas. And this is the reason, you know, you, you share it with people. Mm -hmm. You share your designs with people as often as you can, um, get it into the hands of people that use it. I was gonna ask like, have any of your family or like friends kind of seen this app and was like, <laughs> yes, or no, we don't need that. <laughs> Hopefully, I've seen a couple of them in chat as well. So th I'm sure we're saying that now. And like, I, I got a lot of feedback before coming on here too, yeah, just yeah, to yeah. try to pick people's brains and see what they would want. And so, yeah, is, I think this, if it was actually made, it would be a very useful tool. Absolutely, absolutely. In terms of, uh, in terms of, well, the app for sure, but like in mm -hmm. terms of like the little things, like, like actually, Colby, we really do need <laughs> medicine, you know, like. Yeah. 
you're like, no, these are the, these are the three. These are the yeah, top these three. are the three. Well, and the thing is with this live stream too, we just have to like zero in on like the MVP, like the yeah. most like minimum viable product, just so that we can have we can kind of show everyone, you know, all the steps. Absolutely. Because if we try to build something that's super flushed out, then we won't be able to break it down to a case study at the end. So I just want to kind of show Excellent. us like the main features, and it would be awesome to add medicine, but yeah, that's a whole other ballpark. It's a whole other thing. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> We're not gonna go there, but. It's great. It's a great way to think about it. You know, we can go on and on and on trying to think of features, but if we want to get just the main point and have this app understood mm -hmm. from like sketches, it's literally we just saw sketches yeah. to, to a full case study of like, actually, let's keep building this out and include stuff like medicine. It's important to just get it clear and down and in these wireframes and these rough wireframes early and fast. And I think you're doing great. Oh, thanks. And let us know too if you have any questions. Yeah, too. any questions for Colby mm -hmm. um, about his process or you know the app in general. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> some other things, you know, we're learning. We're learning it. We're all learning together. XD, you know, but there are some resources online we can go and go to, and um, you know, and these live streams are a great way to learn as well. So. Mm -hmm. We all know we're on different. I just found out what an MVP was. Oh, Ooh. nice. Oh, cool. Awesome. Way to teach and yeah, right? this, like the circle <laughs> effect of of learning teaching. Oh yeah, the circle of life. I kind of like start singing, but it probably won't be for the best. The circle of <laughs> live stream. Oh, okay. Thank I you. See what you did. Thank yeah. you. That's pretty Thank good. You. I was. I'm only gonna do one pun. So okay. Yep. Well, puns are fun. <laughs> So I'm gonna zoom out again. We can start to look at it. So it still looks kind of like the UI kit, but that's mostly because the colors and typography. But it does start to have the features and the main screens that we need. So yeah, we log in, do all that. You go to the map. So I think the map would be once you log in, that's gonna be like where you go to first. Mm -hmm. So the map would kind of be the home, the home page. But then I also have this map icon, and I have nearby. So I was thinking maybe nearby could somehow be this. Maybe I need a more appropriate icon. And then profile would be here. And then the search would be from this button here. And hopefully in the future, I'll be able to add the microphone because that'd be a nice little thing to add. That would be an awesome, awesome feature. Oh yeah. And then once you select from these two, once you select the place you want to go here and then, yeah, I'm gonna need to add a section for people to leave comments and reviews. So I can go ahead and start customizing this place. So I extend that artboard a little bit because let's add like a bunch of comments. And then one of the things that's good to note is this menu right here. I want it to be locked in place when I'm still scrolling through the app. So let me just click play on it right now because right now if I don't lock it in place, it's oh, still it just goes. right there and it'd be kind of awkward if it's like overlapping some comments or something. So what you want to do is just take that whole component right there, go into prototype and click fixed position when scrolling. So that locks it to the bottom of the screen. So that way, whenever I go into click play, see it's like locked down right there. There you go. So I can see all those comments and all the fun stuff. But I do have a couple lines in there, so I don't want to forget about those. Let me see these details. It's all about the details. Oh yeah. And a lot of this stuff too, I can go back and change later too. So nothing's locked in stone yet, which is nice. We have a question from Anna. Were okay. You, uh, you were, were you a traditional graphic designer before switching to UX UI? Definitely. So I don't really know when the switch happened. It just kind of happened. I mean, I was watching a lot of Adobe live streams, doing the challenges, doing creative jams. Um, I've taken some classes where it's focusing on like, they call it computer graphic design, just to be kind of vague, but it's like very interactive design. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I definitely consider myself more of a graphic designer who also does, you know, UI UX as well as like photography. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't really know how to categorize myself. Maybe I got off the question. So you were, were you a traditional graphic designer before switching to UI, UX UI? So yes, definitely. More focused on tradition, traditional design in a way. I enjoy doing making like logos and branding and just trying to solve problems. I think is like the fun part for yeah. me. Yeah. So whether it's on like a mobile screen or if it's for like branding an event or a small business or something, or even it's just social media content. Like I just enjoy trying to solve those problems. Mm -hmm. And here is a problem you saw in the world. Yeah. 
And so that's a good feeling. That's always fun. And it seems UX is the way, and more more app design fully is the way to solve that problem. So just yeah. another avenue for you to solve the problem, really. No, definitely. Going into UX stuff versus staying in graphic design, right? For this specifically. Yeah. That's great. Mm. Ooh, Raymond brought up a really interesting point, evacuation routes. Yeah. Evacuation routes, that, that'd be a really good one too. Because you'd have to, actually. So one of the things I didn't want to include in here would be like, actual maps itself. Because mm. so many people ha use like Apple Maps or, um, I don't need that. Um, they use like Apple Maps or Google Maps and like they're ones that they're used to. So mm. again, there's no use reinventing the wheel. I'd rather, I figured once you'd open up to the profile, maybe this right here is a button that says open in Google Maps or whatever your most native one would be. I see, I see. And so evacuation routes would be very useful. But then again, I wonder if those resources are already available on other maps and apps. Yeah. Maps and apps. Ma <laughs> maps <laughs> that could and be the name. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really good point you bring up there. You know, people are used to kind of like wherever they're going to gather their information about evacuation or and mapping and seeing if like roads are closed. You know, they have those apps. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, this app is kind of inferring that you're kind of bunkering down as well, right? Sure. So, you know, you're you're taking care of the homestead. You're getting water and supplies, so I, li I love the idea of taking, of maybe having like a, a button somewhere to take you out to those. It's like, okay, now that it's great that you're trying to stay safe at home, but now it's time <laughs> yeah, now to it's, go. Yeah. Or maybe the app just kind of like goes, all right, <laughs> your, your area is, uh, it's coming into some uh, severe storm territory, so. Definitely, and another thing that probably run into during hurricanes is yeah. a lot of times the cell reception is terrible. So the best way to contact people is over Wi-Fi. So it's very odd. So people use like third party apps rather than their actual texting to stay in touch with people. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that would be an incredible, another feature added to this, but then that's just adding, a, that just makes the scope of the project so much more bigger. It does, it does. But it would be super cool. It's fun, it's fun. It's like a such an interesting uh, space in general. Mm -hmm. What did Maria say about this Walmart? I feel like, you know, this Walmart. This Walmart. It, are we giving a good review or? Let's do it bad. You know, it's okay. usually not super good. So you know? Walmart, this Walmart was completely out um, of water. Completely the shelves were, the shelves have fallen. Out, out of water. Oh, I can't type. This Walmart is completely out of water. The lines, oh. Oh, that's why right here, look at that. I think that's the lighting right there it was huge. Uh, the lines were insane. A bunch of exclamation points. So she did not have the best experience. Oh, hope Maria gets water soon. Yeah. Which actually, right now we have Maria Snow. That was the one that came default with this. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it, I don't think we need to include last names too. Because especially if you're just giving reviews, I don't think that would be. I just don't think that last names are necessary, you know? All right, yeah. And so, to plug another plug in real quick. Yeah, let's plug the plug in. Oh yeah, um, UI faces. So this one's super easy, super fun. So there's all these different sources. I can tell the age, if I wanna say male or female, if I wanna be happy or neutral, hair color. There's a lot of different filters wow. you can go, you can pick. And then I can just click, or I can just leave it how it was and I'll click apply. apply. And let's see who gives this. Okay. You know, hey. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's. Mari, Maria becomes Mario, or maybe not, you know? Yeah. Which we Gender name him. Over here. We could give him a new name. Let's call him Paco, just for fun of it. I know. <laughs> nice. It does look a little pixelated, but that's not super important right now. Yeah. That's a great plugin. Yeah, that one's super useful. Cause just having just user faces, you know? Sometimes you just can't use the same one over and over again. Yeah. I can't tell you how many like <laughs> random family members are sitting in some like school projects. It's like files. Paco. <laughs> <In files. laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And so maybe the rating system, at least for right now, maybe I'll give it based on color will be an honest comment as well. So it's a Walmart. Okay. It was insane. So it's probably going to be red. Let me just drop that kind of in here and maybe it'll make it look a little better. Yeah, because I'm not crazy about how this looks yet. 
but it's more important to figure out how it functions first. So would there, so it'd be interesting to see where, you know, playing with these colors, um, if the app would just like know based on a couple keywords, like out of water, it would, it's, a, it's a negative comment. Oh yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Or maybe while that'd he, be, or while he, maybe that form somewhere in the form, it has a. Yeah. To, and that's what I was thinking. It would be more of like a ranking system, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't want to do just like three options. Maybe it's more like five and it finds mm. like the middle ground or something. Because with, when you give people three options, like small, medium, large, for example, most of the time they're gonna pick the middle option. And so if you do that, all of them are gonna be like yellow on the map or right. somewhere in the middle. And so right now I'm gonna go use repeat grid because that's always fun. Boom. Nice. And then let me put that behind that component, which I think is that one. Nice. And I'll leave a bit of room on the bottom. And then let's just see how that's gonna look like. Let me see what it's gonna look like real quick. So Walmart, um, I'm, I'll probably put an icon on that map as well. Maybe say open in maps. And then Paco just really hates this Walmart because of all these comments he left on there. <laughs> oh, I'm Paco kidding. had yeah. a really hard time in that Walmart. Yeah, apparently it was a bad day. So yeah, and then I think we would want um, pages like this for each of these locations. And so right now I have close to nine of them. But before I copy it over, I just want to make sure it's exactly how I want it. Quick plug in for a uh, quick plug it plug <laughs> plug in plug. Uh, <laughs> you know we're learning, we're learning how to use XD, we're learning mm -hmm. how to kind of create these apps. You know, and a lot of what you've learned happened through this community and a lot, I'm sure a lot of other Definitely. people have visited, have visited let's, let'sxd.com to kind of look through, watch some other tutorial videos to kind of help you kind of, like it says up top, sharpen your skills. You know, if there's anything around components that you want to dive deeper in, right? We're kind of like going through our own trial and error process, which I love, this is, yeah. this is how you learn. Um, but we can, you can come here as well and kind of just do some quick pro tips. That's cool, I haven't used this site before. Yes, yeah. I love giving info. <laughs> so this is great. Yes. Wow, so it's, I got all the videos. Yeah, all, all these things are super important. Oh yeah, we, so we have uh, we have some, I really like the, the snackables. snackables. I really like the snackables, I think they're great. You know, just a little bit of, oh, just, just a quick, short, just a taste of it taste real quick. taste of repeat grid. <laughs> snackables. Yeah, nice. so if anyone's following along or maybe doing their own project right now, check it out if you haven't. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll try it out. Yeah. Let's xd.com. Thanks, Tim, for putting up the link. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Tim. Nice. Yeah, Tim's great. He's always coming through. Yeah. So let's look at this real quick. So there's nothing too crazy. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup the grid. And let's swap out Paco with some other people. And we can just do this real quick by just selecting the image and going to that plugin I referenced, which is UI Faces and apply. And it's a lot of men, so let's make this one female. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things about, um, and I'm wondering if it's the same with the, with if you select each individual square, you can actually just like drop faces in, like the, all at one time, or? Oh, that's a good I'm idea. Wondering, I'm wondering, I don't know. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And a lot of times, like. Plug -in, but for I've, repeat grid, that's been a, that's an option. Just kind of drag in those uh, images and they kind of autofill all of them. But since this is a plugin, you know, this is a little bit different. Yeah, um, that's true. But the problem I run into is I can't select multiple of these since they're all in individual groups. Mm. So I wonder if, I think it'd be more likely to do it if they're all like outside of their individual groups, but then it'd get much more complicated because they're not like well, grouped. I said grouped like eight times. <laughs> and That's very cool. All right. So are you keeping these star rankings from the previous UI kit? Are we gonna get rid of them? It's a good question because we're using the other ranking system of like mm -hmm. the colors, green, a yellow, very color. Yeah, color and these colors based. will change, but it will like they might change like different reds that kind of fit with our color palette. But it's a good point. Let's see what this may look like without it. Let's 
tricky to see. I wonder. Yeah, because you're gonna have a photo back there. Yeah, because you really do need a lot of contrast. Because you really want to think about everyone. Because sometimes there's people with vision impairment or colorblind, and if there's not enough contrast behind the design, then you know details get lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm not crazy about that yet, and that just looks weird to me when you make it white outline. I don't know, that's something I think we can go... Well, actually, no, I want to do it now before I copy this. And maybe it's just not over here. Oh, These maybe are it's things just to play with, here. you know? Or yeah. maybe it's one of those things where it's, uh, maybe there is, it's all in live real time, right? Maybe there is no, Walmart doesn't have a rank generally, or, and you have to just kind of see it in real time what they have. Oh, and like in the comments or something? Yeah, you know, That's like true. You, you, you put them on these, on the components, you know, these different people are gonna, maybe it'll turn green at some point, they get restocked with water. So maybe it doesn't, maybe it doesn't have that. Yeah, that's a good point. We're playing around. Yeah, we're Trying just kind of figuring things. this out. We're working together here. And then if I have it here, there's just so many of this one icon everywhere too. Mm -hmm. And it, it will be right here as well. Yeah, so, and right, it changes, yeah, I think it, yeah, right? it is the right theory here. is it changes as the time passes. Yeah, or... exactly. As like more comments get in and it starts to even out and... Okay. Okay. Oh, awesome. I, Tim, that is great. I was just gonna ask about, cause we're playing a lot with color and I did it so stark. I'm gonna check it out. Um, oh, that is a... In terms of color contrast, you know, a lot of people are different, have different accessibility yeah. levels with color. Um, let's check out this. It's an, um, yeah. so Stark is an accessible and exclusive design plugin. And it looks like you can have a colorblind simulation. Oh, I, I have a- Nice. Well, I actually have Stark as one of the plugins oh, on here too. Try it out. Yeah, Let's right? Try it. So I haven't really used it before too. Well, I think I've tried to, but I haven't really successfully used it. Let's try it with, so, uh, with uh, your, your, oh, yeah, your Walmart screen. Cause yeah, it has a- Yeah, there's so much going on. There's an image like behind, that, text yeah. over an image, so it could be tough. Mm -hmm. And that red. And so, that red. You want to go into colorblind simulation or check contrast or? Why don't we try colorblind simulation? You know? Okay. Oh. Hmm. All right. So we're learning as we go what these plugins can do. Oh, okay. So. Ah, uh, there so we go. I have to change the setting. I don't really notice a difference yet. Maybe I'm just off. So I can change it down here. The colorblind type. Oh, okay, ah, so you see it got greener. There you go. Okay, and yeah, that red turns into that. So that's what people with a certain type of color blindness ha can see on your app. So maybe, wow. you know. The color may system may not be best. Well, I don't maybe, know. you know, maybe that's something, because, you know, it's actually, I was going to say, green, red, and yellow are used for like stop traffic lights. lights stop yeah, everything? so yeah. maybe maybe having the same simulator go on your, hmm. um, your uh, actual hmm. little. Um, yeah. Icons you have the all together. Yeah, I want to look at yeah all the icons and just see how the colors work. So I'm just gonna drop them in here real quick. Which I already read right there, and then go back over to the plugin Stark. <laughs> so let's see what those look like, and let's try a different kind because this is the one we did last time. Yeah. So these are the things. These are the beautiful. This is the beautiful nature of plugins and designing in general. There are all of these really quick ways to figure out if your design works for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, which is awesome. You know, before it was kind of you had to wait until your design was up somewhere and showing it to someone. Um, now you can kind of just see here. Um, I keep accidentally clicking on the pro ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get, get out of there. We're not, right. we're not yeah, pro. Just we're not yet. pro. <laughs> not just yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but accessibility is huge, and especially oh, huge. more recently, like now than ever, accessibility is like, incredibly important. Yeah. So these are the things, you know, if, if colors don't necessarily work, trying different ones might be key, mm -hmm. or maybe it's not just colors. Maybe keeping colors, col I mean, color's so powerful. You yeah. know, for, for, for me and you, I understood very right away, red means probably nothing, green means pretty yeah. good to go. Um, so keeping the color would be great, but what if you change the icon? You know, it's so it's yep. stuff like that you get to play with 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 these awesome simulations. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe having more of like a one, two, three on top of the icon or something that clearly says it, but it probably wouldn't look as good. So I don't know. Yeah, there are other solutions, and I do think it is very important. 
because even right here with this uh, colorblind type, you can start to see these colors start to blend together and it would be very hard to tell. And I'm sure the people who have this, you know, can kind of get used to it, but we have to keep them in mind too. Mm. Yeah, so that is, yeah, that'd be hard to tell the difference between those colors. It would be, it would be. Hmm. Because at least with traffic lights, the way they solve that problem is they stack them in a certain way. So it's... Arranging. Yeah. Arranging is, is key too. So these are, the, these are the cool things you can play with. And I, I love the accessibility um, um, plugins that are happening now. Yeah. It, it, for it to happen so quickly, for you to be able to get it in front of people so quickly. And it's mm. awesome. I like that I was we try to that. do check contrast, but then... Well, maybe if you select your whole, your whole artboard. The whole artboard? Because I think selecting that might do it. Nope. Mm. Oh, well. Okay. Well, the colorblind simulation was really cool. That though. was really neat. That yeah. was cool to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, XD has a ton of great plugins, so I definitely recommend you check them all out. Because I even showed you keyboard shortcuts. Yeah. That one's useful. Or calendar. This one I learned recently by watching one of these Adobe live streams where you just create a box <laughs> and boom, you can customize the settings right there and make calendar. And you just have the perfect calendar right there. And there's been so many times where you try to like align it or maybe you like. Yeah. Screenshot one or something and it may, yeah, it just wouldn't work and it just yeah. looks terrible. Well, this is great and they're all clickable elements. So that's just something fun. Perfect. There's so many great plugins. So if you all have a favorite plugin too, please share it because please, yes. these are all super useful for everyone. Right on. Cool. Ooh, yeah. So we did a little accessibility test. Maybe didn't hit everything, but you know, we're, we're yeah. going to. But that'll be something that we can solve that problem too. Exactly. It's yeah. something to keep in mind. Yeah. Now we know. And it's cool. Exactly. So we'll keep going. We'll keep pressing ahead. Ah, <clears throat> uh, interesting. There's some interesting discussion about service in a hurricane. Would it would be just having cellular service? Oh, cell service. Yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, I was picturing like serving tables or something <laughs> like. <laughs> but no, cell service is huge because a lot of times, yeah, you can't actually get text messages through. So the best thing to do is connect to Wi-Fi and send like a Facebook message or a third party app. Cause so many people they like will download, oh, let's download WeChat ahead of times and like we can add each other so we can yeah. talk or something. Cause a lot of times during a hurricane, you may be stuck indoors for like a day or two or who knows how long, depending on how bad it is. So you're, so in your experience, like Wi-Fi, it's kind of, I it mean, I'm assuming at some point, like all, a lot of service goes. Yeah, goes exactly. Away, right? And like sometimes the power goes out, but Wi-Fi seems to last longer. And my theory maybe is because like so many people are trying to access the cell towers mm -hmm. maybe. But I don't know. But yeah. I've just noticed that over time. That, yeah, yeah, it's just one of those, is more One of those, an, uh, another challenge for you in this app is, you know, how could this kind of live as an offline mode as well? An offline mode as yeah. well, maybe just having a general map where things were right before you gave out, a uh, service gave out or something to help people find these places without any service. Some things to think about. And we're learning. Oh yeah. So if you're right now, just go ahead and copy these over so I can start making the other pages. I really, I don't think I'm gonna go and add a bunch of comments and stuff right now mm -hmm. because it's just kind of tedious. So one, two, three, four, I think I need nine total. Yeah, because over here I have at least nine options or three for each category. And then actually maybe I have an extra one of those. So that store just got taken out. Nice. And so, yeah, I can go over here to these pages. I can find how to access that. This will be our other place where we can get water. Maybe it's a target. And then we go into this one. Keep doing the same things. Maybe that one's just more of like a general store. I'm gonna give props to Colby for using a, uh, for being on Windows and being a oh, just, yeah. just stellar designer as well on Windows. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it seems like everyone's like against Windows no, nowadays too. Everyone's no, like, oh, it's no, Mac, it's everything. It. It's just, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it seems to be the thing a lot of designers use, but you know, yeah. everybody can design on any format and it's. Well, I used to be a Mac person. It's about solving problems. It's not it about. It's not necessarily about the tool, right? It's about the tool. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, a lot of these tools, though. I mean, like, they're all the same for the most part. Like, some of the keyboards may be different. Maybe command instead of control, or little subtle differences. But but yeah. like, nowadays, the software and everything, it works on like all types of computers for the most part. 
But I was, I did use a Mac before, and then I switched over to Windows because I originally thought I wanted to do game design because I thought UI UX, you know, it's like, oh, you can build menus. Maybe that's more in game design type stuff. Huh? But no, I ended up doing graphic design. I'm really happy I did because I love it. And, but what's great about this Windows computer is it has a nice graphics card. And that's the big thing I wanted was make sure like, oh, what if I wanted to run like virtual reality or something crazy? Mm -hmm. Like I'd want to make sure I had a computer that I can kind of grow into. And with Macs to be able to get specs that are that good, oh, the price goes, it gets like insane. Yeah. Uh, game design though, you know, uh, XD just came through with their last update. It's a really cool prototyping feature. I am not gonna be able to showcase that as easily right now. Okay. But if you go into prototyping. Yeah. Um, you can actually have a big, uh, you know, I'll drive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm driving. Uh, let's see. Um, there's some really great new new ways to prototype games and that um, mm. that Adobe has gotten into, uh, XD has gotten into. Um, and uh, just yeah, a simple, let's see, here we go. Sure. Keys and gamepad. So I don't know if you can Whoa. see that on my screen. Just that alone. I mean, the prototyping feature on XD has always been awesome. But for them to include keys and gamepad, so you can actually in, like oh. use an actual game um, gaming device. Um, and so there is some now prototyping ex uh, features wow. for game design on XD, and that's awesome. Yeah, and I had no idea. That's that's super cool. So you can add keys so that way I can say like, yeah. oh, if I click W or forward, you know, maybe this element like on the next artboard does that or something or. I'm pretty sure if you go through, let's go, let's just try it out, huh? So a key to a sign. So I'm pretty sure. So I don't have a, I don't have a, an actual like, game, yeah. gamer theory. <laughs> <laughs> <It's laughs> in my hand right now, but you know, like A or B or right trigger or left yeah. left trigger. Yeah, trigger. classic Game Boy Cath buttons. Exactly. Um, so that's cool. So that's an option next, you know. Wow. So if you want to do, if you want to stick with that and try even do some of that at some point, it's yeah, it's an option. That's, yeah, that's really cool. Because I remember I've done a Creative Jam before too, and we were able to get the uh, like some game designers to join. And they ended up building a whole prototype in XD that was all based around video games. And it wasn't actually, it was more like the navigation and like a platform for it, but it's really cool to see how it's useful for more than just graphic designers. Like there's so many other people oh. that like XD oh, yeah. is great for. Cool. Oh yeah. So cool. these ones are gonna be the hardware stores. Be a Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, you can, so you can, Tim's talking about we can plug in a controller. Yeah, and I, there's a video on it. If I can just, I don't want to do a video in a video, but <laughs> Inception. <laughs> it's really neat. It's really neat. So there is so many options Definitely. in XD to be able to prototype whatever idea, whatever concept you want to try out. And it's so easy to just start doing. Nice. Let's oops, zoom down a little too far. Oh, I'm in prototype mode. Yeah. And then, so I have all these different ones, which are all very similar, but we want them to kind of be uniform. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of swap to the photos. And then let me go in real quick and swap out some of the text, because that shouldn't take very long. If I can spell. <laughs> hmm, target. Um, so anyone, anyone has any ad, uh, names, recommendations, you know, we're still taking those. Oh yeah, for our app. We had a really good comment talk about, you know, maybe hurry, hurry was spelled H-U-R-R-I, like hurricane. Mm -hmm. um, and now there's kind of, there's a little bit of a debate going back and forth around hurry and maybe it's a little too much of a rush. Like you don't, don't like hurry, like hurry, like the actual phrase, like hurry up. Oh yeah, cause it's, So maybe there's a little like, too much, that's a good point. Okay. Um, mm. Yeah. 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 We can still keep going through Harry, uh, maybe. Yeah. Let me try to brainstorm some ideas right now too. What helps me think sometimes is I like to do like a mind map, which nice. I don't know if you all know too. It's like you just start out with like your keyword and then just draw like a web and break down all the different words that kind of like associated with it. And then love that. you just do that for a couple minutes and then you just kind of look at what you got and it just helps you kind of generate ideas quickly. Definitely, definitely. Art, you know, design school. Oh yeah. Let's go for something. No, definitely. Yeah, I see Rachel Elner is talking about GDSA and the Gaming Nights joined the next Creative Jam, and we're super excited. But yeah, let us know when the next Creative Jam Live is. You know, we're definitely eager. We're excited about those, because the last one was so great. It was a lot of fun. Because we were able to do like a 48 hour hack, uh, uh, not hackathon, 48 hour game jam. Where in the past they've been like three hours, 
So with 48 hours, you can really build something you know, if you really spend the time. So that's super great. That's the beauty of hackathons. Yeah. Any type of hackathon. Anytime you can just like narrow in. Some of my best nights designing and creating were staying up all night with a bunch of uh, <laughs> peers. Yeah. Just trying our best, getting the work done. Surround yourself with creative people. Creativity will come out of you. Definitely. So I'm just figuring out this, these different. Yeah, I'm just dropping these yeah. icons on here yeah. now. And a lot of this will just be kind of like tedious work, so I don't want to do too much of this, of just changing content, because that'll take forever. Drop in September 27th with IBM. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, IBM's incredible. Plugs on plugs. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, I don't know if anyone brought up any good ideas for names for the app. So in case people are just joining in late too, we're building a hurricane preparedness app, which is basically inspired by Waze and other forms of apps where the users can comment on the locations and talk about where places, which places have supplies. So it's really updated by the community, which is I think super important. Because if you had to depend on like a store or something to update the supplies, like who knows what would happen. I think if you had a small town and you had a small group of, like a small community that constantly updated content, then you'd be able to maintain this. Yeah, yeah. So it's community grown and mm -hmm. and informed and you know, we've, we've heard a lot of really good topics around accessibility and also yeah. around um, actually if people have ser you know service and we you know can something like this what would something like this look like and work like without service mm -hmm. um, well, but the point the point the, you know mm -hmm. you keep you, this is one things that you keep you kept arriving back to was this is like not happening during this is exactly, like this yeah. is like two weeks prior you know um, um, which is something that if you haven't been in a hurricane yourself I, you wouldn't know I had no idea you know it, prep, right. prep goes way before you know two days before or a week before it could be three or four weeks out especially if, you know, the radar can see it. So most likely they'll have service, you know. But yeah, especially leading up to it. It's usually it. just during the storm that, yeah, the craziness happens. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, Rachel, good point. Um, it, can this be used for something other than just hurricanes? Yeah. Yeah, Earthquakes, definitely. Earthquakes, maybe. Well, I don't know if you need to get supplies because you don't really know what's happening. Earthquakes are harder to detect. We won't yeah. get into those. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not going to run the store and grab They're not, but they gas. are. Like, it doesn't we'll make sense there. <laughs> yeah. so, this going to be a little bit, uh, yeah. yeah. We'll get into those later. We're, yeah, I have no we're idea currently in like. San Francisco, so <laughs> yeah. let's not start talking about them really quick. Right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. But yeah, yeah, it's, um. so this is a really great just general, just, just idea around just like what how can you do how can you help people prepare for emergency situations how can yeah. you help people um, how can you create something on an app that's that's gonna give them more than just instant gratification this is this is something mm -hmm. that's gonna like that could help people survive something and yeah. I think it's a really really cool concept that we keep just elaborating <laughs> on you're just gonna keep going with it that's the thing yeah so kind of see how it expands but yeah yeah I just think it's the most important design but like something that's useful like a tool that people can use. Yeah, and actually we are at design feedback Ooh. countdown. We are there. We are Wow. We have made it here. The time flies. That really <laughs> does. How did that happen? So right now let's see if uh, let's see who's up here. And last minute too, if you haven't submitted for the design feedback challenge, there's a tab over on whichever side it's at in the chat that you can go and submit. So, it seems so you should definitely check that out. And hurry up and upload it real quick. Yeah, just throw it up there. It was uh, creating a countdown, mm -hmm. a countdown uh, timer? timer. All That's right, cool. so here's the one we got, Shreya. Hi, Shreya. So we are, uh, we're gonna check out your, your designs right now. Cool. Nice. Awesome. All right. Oh, I love that she's already like, just like made a, yeah. made something for herself. Not very right. nice. And I love that you showed it in like an actual phone too. Yep, yep, it's always it's important. It's a classy move. It's always important. So here we go, here's the timer. It's a presentation timer. So just like uh, anybody who's ever presented anything mm -hmm. in school or at work, you know, sometimes you just, sometimes you get off track, just like we almost yeah. did <laughs> with seconds to spare. So maybe we need one. Yeah, right? <laughs> maybe we can use theirs, exactly, you know? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right, so the prompt was a timer, and so we'll check out her designs. Very cool. 
Very, very cool. It looks nice too. And it's really nice starting from something that's not too distracting. Cause the UI kit I have had so many elements and it's very hard to get off track, but with this is very clean and it's laid out very nicely. Yeah, and when you're trying to just count, we need a timer. Yeah. You just want to count down, you know? Yeah, you don't need to have fireworks and Oh, this is else. interesting. It's kind of like in a, maybe this would live as, so this one's on the phone. Yeah. You know, and this one maybe feels like maybe this is right like next to you. This is on your desk. Maybe it's a second screen on your desktop. Maybe okay. you know you, you could see your presentation in front of you. Maybe this is what you this is what's on your desktop in front of. Actually. Oh of yeah, because maybe the phone's like a remote and yeah. you can with this too. Very cool. That'd be that, yeah, that'd be really useful. Work two hours forty minutes. Wow. Any breaks there, or just going two hours nope. and forty minutes? Nope. We're trying to clock in as much as you can. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Let's take a look. So we see we got. I'm liking this. It's very simple, very, very clean. Mm -hmm. I'm liking the blue. Um, these number, you know, this, yeah, on there, it's, on here it's a little bit easier to read, but far away it's a little harder to read this, this blue on gray. Yeah. Maybe going for something with a higher contrast, maybe something darker. Um, oh, especially with the light gray behind it. Cause when mm -hmm. I look at that TV, you can't see the boxes mm -hmm. behind that really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But over here we can clearly see it too. Yeah, so I think that's, but in general, you know, we're going over like simplicity is mm -hmm. is very helpful in times of stress and chaos, just like, <laughs> yeah. just like our, With our, our preparedness yeah. app. And so maybe that's something you can kind of take, we can take forward and, and take note of, but especially when you're stressing out about a presentation, you want something simple. Yeah. So, yeah, so let's see if there's any, if we got any more, oh, Ooh. can we open, let's see, can we open? I don't know. Oh, yes. Nice. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Introduction. Oh, I like this. So I'm liking, I mean, I like all of them. <laughs> 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 um, um, I, uh, I can see there the the reading. We have different sections here, and I think yeah. that's maybe what was happening in the last one too. Kind of just different different sections of, of when things are going to happen, right? So we have okay. reading, journal, wrap up, movie. Just okay. To keep you keep you on task as well as count you down and put the pressure on. Yeah. Um, but also to remember what you're about to do next. Well, it keeps you like accountable. It's like okay, I have to read. You know, it's like I have a timer set. Like I'm doing this. Reading ten minutes. Nice. <laughs> I need good. this. Yeah. Yes. Journal for four. Yeah. And we have this um, this kind of countdown. So we don't really see a number countdown here, it looks like. I mean, we do. It's, oh, yeah, so it's, it's smaller, like but your eye wheel. really goes to the wheel. And so, mm -hmm. you know, at a glance, you can see am I halfway, am I a quarter of the way? It's really, it's a really great option. Yeah. I think, I think in having maybe the numbers kind of be a little more, be prominent as well. It's, I think it's an interesting, like, exercise in either or, right? Yeah. Do you do you want to see more generally how much time you have or do you want to know actually to the second? Um, mm. And so that's kind of what they're playing with here and I kind of like that. Yeah, I would love to see this with like auto animate because it would be so, like I, I know Howard has some really good videos on like how to auto animate and I know he has similar stuff along these lines. So it'd be great to watch that and be able to actually animate it. Like I think, I don't know, I just love doing that, especially if you're showing it in your portfolio, just to like, go the extra mile and show something animated is just like a super classy move. Yeah. Awesome. Let's see, do we have any more? Nice. So we just got the two. Okay, that's nice. Fine. Yeah, they were good. That's good. That was great. Yeah, that was no, awesome. that's awesome, man. Thank you for submitting too. It's yeah, super cool to see what everyone's working on. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah. Where's the... It's very cool, very cool. Nice. All right, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're doing great. Yeah, doing awesome. Great. So, you know, if no one's, if you guys are, you know, still kind of new to maybe sending in your creative challenge, you know, this is where you go. You know, there's a little tab right above the chat. It says challenge mm -hmm. um, with the brief as well. And you just kind of, and here it is, you know, this is every day it gets unlocked, you know, so right, you know, this is Tuesdays. Um, and uh, and yeah, we we want to see them more and more. This is how Definitely. that. That's how this yeah, guy this, got yeah, here. Yeah, that's how I like, got here. Was being able to like learning all these different, like doing all these different challenges. Like they teach you different skills within XD, and to be able to apply all of those to one file. Like, yeah, it definitely gave me like a leg up when I was doing creative jams and a lot of other people who it was their first time diving into XD, but I actually knew how to animate and do everything else. Yeah, it's such a. It's at the end of the day, it's just getting your feet wet, just constantly trying a different thing and so it's yeah. great to have prompts to just get you to be creative and try something new something you would never make 
you know, like what are the odds that you're gonna make a timer? Yeah. You know, but like it's 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 a nice way to test your brain a little bit. Yeah. Let's see if anyone threw anything else. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Cool. cool. We can keep an eye out too for the challenges tomorrow and the next day as well. Mm-hmm. Because this will be great. I think there's a new one each day that we usually stream. I'm pretty sure. So that'll be fun. Yep. Thanks. Alrighty. Cool. Cool. All right. So how are we? Uh. So where are we? Where are we living with the? Yeah. Um, yeah. With the process here. So we can kind of look at everything as a whole over here on my screen real quick. And I have all of the, yeah, so we can kind of go through the flow of this, what it might look like. Boom, you, this is where you first open it up. Then you have the sign in or sign up. You have the map that you'd go into and there's different ways to search. This one may go up to here. This button may go to the nearby and the profile will take you down here. And then depending on what button you click, it would take you to the location of the places. And then you can write a review, which I need a button to write a review because that's a very important part of it. I just realized we didn't pick a winner. <laughs> For, oh, do we pick a winner? No, no I don't okay. think we do. Okay, yeah, cause I remember like, I think they used to, but yeah, I think now it's also about getting creative like feedback. Right, and, right, 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 got it, got it, got it. <laughs> that's good, like, yeah, that would have been awkward. <laughs> I was like, did, no, we're good. <laughs> All right, yep. Nice. So I'm just gonna go in here a little bit and just see, you know, what size this might be. So I'm thinking maybe a good button could go right in there to write review. Would I say write review or leave feedback or? Um, maybe something like update or? Yeah, update? Yeah, update might be good. I, I can see update working. So I'm gonna oh. change this to just something bright right now because I'm gonna change that later on. I'm gonna reestablish our color palette. And then you said update, right? Maybe update, maybe, you know, feedback is, feels a little too formal. So, yeah. you know, with this, in this in instance, you know, you're, you're either helping out, the, helping out the community, not let them know, or super upset because they don't have water. So maybe update is like the most best neutral word for the moment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think that'll work. I just want to, Take one of these real quick. And then, yeah, let me just drop it over here. Just a little bit of consistency. Cool. Oh yeah. And then that looks good. And let me actually paste it up here separately. Oh, yep, it's gotta live there. Oh yeah, and I'll group it and make component. And if I check over here in the assets panel, it's right there, so that's nice. And oh yeah, I need to take Tim's advice. I have to select something first, and then actually no, that's I keep getting it mixed up. This when it's over here, I can just drag it right in. Boom. Boom. Nice. <laughs> and that looks good. And then let me just copy it. It goes in the same position, which is super useful. Because if I tried to do this by hand, there'd be so many little shifts every time you go back and forth. But I bet this would have been better to do too before I actually copied all the artboards. But, oh well. Oh, well, we're doing it. Yeah. It's just happening. You know, it happens. It just happens. All right. Nice. And then let me, hmm. See, I would love to actually like wireframe it and prototype it, but I know that's something we're gonna do later on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that takes so much time mm -hmm. to do it right. So that's always tricky. I guess we can, should we give like an overview? Yeah, of I, would, what I think, I, I mean, I would even like to see an overview. Okay, like, cool. It's all just happened again. Yeah. So let's, yeah, let's go through. And especially too, with the way I designed too, I'm almost like a little ADD to where I like to jump around a lot Oh, you too. are not alone in that. <laughs> I'm sure cool. many, many designers can attest to doing the same thing. That's good. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's start out, first time you open up the app, you know, we have a nice little screen right here and we'll add a little bit of flavor to that tomorrow. We have the sign in and sign up. Yeah. So then you can actually yeah. register. Why don't you hit play so we can kind of see each Oh screen. yeah, you're right. I want to, I want to really like yeah. look at these five. All right, there we go. Um, okay. So hopefully, well, it's going to be a little out of order because I don't have them wireframed yet. Well, I can just drag very fast. I'll just do. 
Well, that's the beauty. That's the beauty of prototyping. Yeah, like how quick it can be. Just drag. Like if I'm not to the focusing about transitions or anything. Oh yeah. And I'm not gonna connect them to the buttons. I'm just connecting them side by side just so I can show you all what they all look like. This is called rapid. It's rapid. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, I'll jump right here. Cool. All right. Cool. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. So another thing is this button right here. You can actually mobile preview. So XD has an app too where you can view it on your phone. So that's super cool. But yeah, let me show you this one right here. Yeah. And that's super convenient when you actually need to test out where buttons are. Yeah. And or just see. get like feedback from other people too. Mm -hmm. And just be like, hey, do this thing and let's see if it works for you. Cool. All right. So we had that. We had an oh, intro. We have like yeah, a. Yeah, we have the sign in. And so that would be also be able to sign up with the map that you'd go to. And you'd, you know, potentially be able to click on those buttons. It'll be tomorrow. You can search based on the supplies, or you can search based on, you know, a grid like this. You have this certain profile right here for Maria, which will probably have a badge right here, which shows, you know, how many reviews and everything she's given out, mm -hmm. like her credibility in a way. This right here will be the rating, but it'll there'll be more to this, and it'll be attached to this page. So all these different Pacos who gave reviews down here, then you can click Paco. update, and that would take you to that last one we saw. But overall, that's kind of what I'm working with right now. So we have a general flow established. Oh yeah. Um, for these users who are trying to get some supplies for uh, to prep for a hurricane. Yep. You know, so we got a heavy topic. We got a bunch of screens. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're gonna make them look real nice. Oh yeah. And uh, so we want to talk about some of the things we'll get into tomorrow. Yeah, we can go and talk about it too. So tomorrow we're gonna be focusing on UI design. So a lot of this may look kind of finished, but it's because it was the UI kit that I based it off of. So we're gonna dive into typography, and we're also gonna pick a good color palette and have an inspiration board, because I have like a theme that I want to apply to this, which is going to be super cool. Nice. But I don't want to spoil it yet, so because it kind of goes with the whole hurricane vibe and being prepared. So I'm excited to show that. That's awesome. And then the last day, we're going to be focusing on case studies. So how you'd actually show these in mock-ups, and how you might lay it out in a portfolio, and present your work, and show process work, sketches, all that fun stuff. Yeah, so tune in this next two days. We're going to see this app really unfold, and it's going to be cool as yeah. well as incredibly useful oh, for yeah. the world at large and especially what's going on right now. So I'm excited. I'm Me excited too. to see those. I'm excited to see where you're, what you're vibing with. Oh, thank you. Uh, so one other thing I can show real quick yeah. uh, is overlays. Because I have this keyboard, artboard right here. And so when I, originally, when I originally brought in the UI kit, it had a keyboard already on there. But one thing you can do is, let's say if I select email, for example, and I drag it over to this keyboard, mm -hmm. Then I go into transitions and I select overlay. That means whenever you click that button, this artboard is gonna appear over top of that right. one. Right. So those those screens were gonna have a we were gonna have a keyboard there. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, so cool. Yeah, so it's and a nice little to, pop up. Can't wait to see this prototype. This is gonna be really oh, yeah. neat. Really, really neat. And we have some cool plugins we're gonna use along the way. We used a bunch mm -hmm. today. So Yeah. We'll keep the good times grooving. Oh yeah. Alright. So yeah, like if uh, you know, if you wanna Tune in tomorrow. We have a great lineup. Um, you know, we will start here uh, around yeah. 12. 12 we'll to 2. In. Oh, yeah. Um, and we have plenty more right before us as well. So uh, thanks for coming. Through. Yeah. This no, is great. I appreciate you having me I'm out. This is so much I'm fun. Yeah, this really is cool. I'm stoked. I can't wait. <laughs> um, man. Yeah. Man. I it's love fun. I love designing for good yeah. for good things and, and good work and it's and I love that you work for nonprofits. That's that's really touches Thank my you. heart too. As I, cool. I had my start in nonprofits as well, so I think we're oh, good. It's gonna yeah, be a good cool. couple days. We're yeah. gonna keep we're gonna keep Super talking. Excited. We're gonna unearth some things. Oh yeah. And we're gonna make the world better. So um, thanks again nice. guys. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank you very much. And you'll we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for tuning in everyone. Goodbye.
out of battery. Battle, battle, battle.